I want to talk a little bit about how we met. I met you at Noise Society, which is a secret society of leaders in the music business. And I, you were introduced to me as an entrepreneur, and then you told me many of the businesses <laughs> at that point that you were involved in, mm. um, which was cool because they were very diverse. You were involved in community building projects with local uh, Danish export, I believe at that time, right? Mm. And that all of that experience got to Nordic LA, and then mm. you called me to get involved in Nordic mm. LA. What is the spirit behind Nordic LA? I think like in the big perspective it's about uh, making the world a better place. And I know it's a, it's, it's a big thing to say, but, but I believe we live in a time where our politicians are trying to build borders and walls. And I believe music and culture can break those walls down. And I believe that, that, that co-creation makes, makes us stronger together. You know, I come from a small country like Denmark and, and, and we need to be part of something bigger than just ourselves. And LA is a perfect spot to kind of create that interaction. I think what's also cool, like you and I went to New York together for Unga Week, mm -hmm. you know, and one of the things that's important to this business, which I adopt close to my heart, is trying to give back, right? Mm -hmm. Whether you're giving back to the artist community, you're giving back to the United Nations 17 development goals, mm -hmm. Um, or you're, you're basically working with companies that allow you the opportunity to give in a meaningful way, mm -hmm. right? Um, what's next for, I mean, I'm working with you every day, but I'm gonna ask you so that people listening know what's next for Nordic LA. I think constantly, the reason why we exist is because we are we're doing, making a difference. I think expanding our network, already now you know a lot of people in, in, the, in the US and in LA. I do too, but you're on the ground 24-7. I'm a lot back here in the Nordics, traveling back and forth. Um, I think the next step will be really to consolidate some of the stuff we do. I think last year was a great year. Some of the song camps we did, the last song, song camp you remember back in November. Mm -hmm. uh, camps of Records Building, working with DJ White Shadow that produced Lady Gaga. That's, for me, that's pretty mind-blowing, to be honest. It was amazing. That's yeah. something I dreamt about, like just last at, 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 at NAMM, um, this big music trade fair uh, we did with Dyn Audio, we had the freaking Matt Sorum from Guns N' Roses, you know. When I was, when I was a teenager, I had yeah. 15, 20 posters on my wall of Guns N' Roses, and now he's suddenly presented by Nordic LA. And uh, that makes me proud, and I think that encouraged a lot of other people like me to say, hmm, maybe it's not impossible to to meet those people, to get that inspiration and also reach your goals. I think what's important is that uh, we continue working very professionally. We make sure that things actually happen in the right way and we make sure to bring the best people to the table when we want to create something. So let's talk about impossible, right? People think things are impossible or they think they're mm. not. Last year, just as a use case, since I met and started working with you, we took a recording studio built in a train car <laughs> we put Alan Parsons, who produced Abbey Road with the Beatles mm -hmm. and Black, Dark Side of the Moon. You said Black Side of the Moon off camera <laughs> earlier. <so. laughs> um, you know, yeah, Matt Sorum in there. We had Stephen Perkins, I'm a drummer, Jane's Addiction. Well, I was like, all right, it was really cool Super to cool. have all these. We had guys from Pink mm -hmm. Floyd, mm -hmm. Scotty Page, playing sax. Mm -hmm. We had all these independent musicians that we brought together, mm -hmm. 14 of them. Um, you know, we, we did an art exhibit out at the... Mm -hmm. uh, Palm Noir out in, in mm -hmm. Palm Springs of Ace Hotel. Yeah. Empowered a painter, an audio artist, mm -hmm. a lighting artist to create an installation there that was mm -hmm. an amazing weekend. We've been out in the desert. We're mm -hmm. about to go to Baja for an activation mm -hmm. out there. I, I it's think, amazing. No, I think everything you talk about is like, yeah, you, you have a dream and, and a lot of people are maybe a little bit scared about, you know, walking the thin ice. And of course, sometimes the, the ice will break, but I think by doing things, like being a company, a group of people, a community that's actually doing something, you know, there'll be some results. And I think we should just keep going after that. We should keep, you know, being on the hunting track and saying, we have a good time, we have fun. I love hanging out with you and yeah. being in LA. But it's, it's about being professional. It's about actually creating careers uh, for artists, yeah. but also helping some of those brands that want to tap into that. Because I definitely see 
in some of our collaborations that the value that we bring to the table is because we're out there and because we do things. And, and I'm honestly, I'm really proud of uh, what we do so far. And I can see what's coming up now with, you know, South by Southwest, talking about architecture, entertainment, that whole part. It's like, it's different industries, but it kind of makes sense. I think we can, the whole co-creation and the whole cross-sexual inspiration is very important for how we drive the innovation processes in the future as well. Also when it comes to the, 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 the UN goals, uh, like we talked about. See, we, we sometimes just candidly argue a little bit about, because Kristen has a very broad view for this company, which is really interesting, and you're doing it. Like, you're doing all of those mm. things, and you're doing these events. Um, obviously, because, um, you know, we're, we're still a fairly new company, we're starting on what we're strongest at, which is music and entertainment, mm. but um, that's not excluding anything else. That's just uh, the conversation that we've, we've started first. But um, I think it's important that everyone realizes that this company is not, it's not all about one thing. It's about what can we do? What, what conversation can we open between different cultures, different countries, different art forms, different brands and large businesses? We're working with some large businesses, but what they're doing is empowering independent artists and giving us an opportunity to, to really do something big. Because, you know, without resources, it's just an idea. So I, I applaud these companies. You know, people come to work with us because we have big ideas. And we've been doing pretty good at making them happen, I think, with the help from our friends. Yeah, yeah that's true. <laughs> and definitely, like, like uh, we do have a lot of ideas, but also like executing those ideas and making it happen and saying, OK, now we do a test. Now we test out different formats. I think that's the way. The try and error is, 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 is a way to do it. Um, and, and the way I see what's going to happen like, like this year is it's, it's, it's just new, new ventures that will take us somewhere else. Again, working, focused, again, you with, with your team in LA, that's kind of the way that, that, that this will happen. So I'm, I'm really excited to, excited to continue the journey. And yeah, and I mean, I think that it's so hard. We, we struggle with this on how to brand the company, how to message to people that, that want to hire us um, what we do. But what it comes down to is we, we have relationships that allow us to do some pretty amazing things um, because we've both been in the entertainment business our whole lives. Yeah, but, but I think it's, it's pretty simple, like what we do with Nordic LA is to be kind of that extended arm for Nordic companies and Nordic artists. Because even though you think, oh, I travel to LA twice a year for two weeks, when you're out, you're out. There's so much talent that there's so many great companies that want to conquer the U.S. market. So for us being that leg that makes sure that you have a presence, that you're there every day, that's what's going to make the whole difference. I'm, I'm pretty sure about that. And we already see that with some of the companies and the assets we're working with. Yeah, and we, we encourage, you know, we're, we're not right for everybody, but we're right for companies that want to empower the arts mm -hmm. for the right reasons. Mm -hmm. um, we're artists, we're not here to make a buck, we're here to do amazing mm -hmm. things. No, but you're right on something I learned from you is also say no. We say no. We yeah. been, no, but we've been saying no to some, some pretty cool artists and brands, but it's also about finding people where we share the values and we share the vision about how things should be done. And uh, that means that we curate some of the, 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 the biggest talent, that, that, the talented people that, that we run into and some of the coolest brand and brands and I'm really, really proud of, of being able to work with those people. Uh, so yeah, I think the whole point about you being in the US market on an everyday basis, I've been mainly here in the Nordics, it's kind of a strong thing when we combine those, those things and, and being that bridge betwe between the two worlds, that's, that's, an, that's an interesting setup. Now if I could just figure out how to get the healthcare and <laughs> The, the loans when I want a music video, everything would be fine. America's great for a lot of things. Um, anyway, now it's Christian, Dylan, we're Nordic LA uh, and, and our whole team. And um, we appreciate you all listening to this video. We wanted to make a video so you could kind of get into our heads a little bit. So that's why we're here. <laughs>